Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the new Georgia 2.0 theme for Fubar 2000. Now this is one of the most common uh, support requests I get. People don't really know how to install it correctly. Um, the instructions, I guess, haven't been that great. Uh, so hopefully this video will answer any questions you've got and show you step-by-step -step what you need to do. So before we get started, I just want to say that uh, before this, I, I began recording this video, I actually went and downloaded uh, some of the components from the recommended components page. I downloaded all the recommended components, some of the optional ones. Uh, I also went and downloaded uh, these image packs, so we don't need to wait to, to download hundreds of megabytes of files. Um, so that should streamline this process uh, a little bit. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is go to the releases page and then find the most recent release. Click on source code zip, download that, and then we're going to open it up. Uh, and we're going to want to extract that to our app data folder. So app data, roaming, and then foobar2000. And then we're going to want to right click and create a new folder. We'll call it Georgia. So one thing you'll notice is that when uh, GitHub creates these uh, release zips, uh, they actually tag the folder inside with the version name as well. So that means we can't just directly install this uh, to our app data folder. Uh, because it will be looking in the wrong location. So we're going to open up that Georgia folder and we're just going to drag these files over. And now Georgia is set up and ready to be used by Fubar. So uh, before we open up Fubar, we're going to want to install these fonts. And yes, yeah, some of these fonts have already been installed uh, on this machine. Um, we're just going to install them all anyways, so we've got no issues. And then now we're ready to open up Fubar. So I'm going to do that. And this is just the standard default UI interface. Uh, pretty functional, but not all that pretty. So first thing we need to do is open up the components page, go to install. And then I am going to install the playback statistics, enhanced play count, music brains, and spider monkey panel. And then hit OK, and Fubar will restart. And now we are ready to go. So let's go to View, Layout, and then Create Scratch Box. And then you can click anywhere in this panel and scroll all the way to the bottom, select spider monkey panel, hit okay. I want to go to edit and apply layout. And yes, we want to overwrite our existing layout. So now all we have in this panel is just uh, spider monkey. So let's right click, select configure, and then I want to load my script by file and select Georgia theme.js and hit OK. And as you saw the progress bar go and the theme is now loaded. Uh, so I can go ahead and run this and let's play a song. And you'll see that it already looks pretty good, but you'll also notice that none of the images are showing up here. And if I go to help Georgia theme status, you'll see that it did find the fonts that we installed, but it did not find any of the image packs. So let's go ahead and add those. So I'm going to go over here. I guess before we do that, let's go back out to the FUBAR 2000 thing. And we're going to create a new folder called images. And we want to make sure that this is at the same level as Georgia and not inside Georgia. Georgia has its own images folder, which is completely different. Uh, so now we've got images, and then I'm going to open up these, and we will extract them to that folder. I'm going to do them at once because it'll take a little while. Some of these zips are pretty big.
Okay, and if I go into images now, you'll see my three folders and everything is good. Let's stop this. And if I go to help status, you'll see that now it's finding those images. And if I press play, now we've got our flags and our band logos and our record labels showing up. Uh, one thing you'll notice though, is that we are not seeing uh, any of our play counts from last FM. So I'm going to bring up the preferences page. I'm going to go to tools down to enhanced play counts. And I want to retrieve last FM stroke grovels. Going to put in my last FM username, hit OK, and then I'm going to restart this song. And after three seconds, there we go. Uh, all my play counts from last FM have been populated. My timeline is showing up uh, with these values as well. So we are all good to go. This is this is all you need to do for default UI. Um, but one thing. Uh, I don't love default UI um, so much because it's got uh, some of these menu bars that you can't uh, easily disable on this uh, status bar. Uh, it just kind of like adds a little clutter uh, to the interface. Uh, so that's kind of why I like to uh, run columns UI. Uh, so let's go ahead and install that. So if UI columns, I'm also going to install UI hacks at the same time. And we'll talk about that in a second. I'll hit OK. It's going to want to restart. And you'll see that when Fubar starts up, it has this little dialogue asking which user interface I want to use. So we're going to select Columns UI, hit OK. And now this is just the default Columns UI interface. Um, so now we want to add Georgia to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Display Columns UI and then Layout. And I want to create a new layout. We'll call it Georgia. And then I want to change the base. So I'm going to right click on that, go to panels, spider monkey panel, and hit OK. And now all we have here is spider monkey panel as well. So I'm going to right click, go to configure. Again, I'm going to select the file. It needs to be Georgia theme.js. I hit OK. It loads. And if I play a song, everything again is still showing up correctly. Um, so I can maximize this so it looks uh, big and pretty. Um, but one thing, we've still got uh, these menu bars, uh, this status pane. So let's go ahead and disable those. So I bring up the preferences panel again. I select columns UI. I can uncheck show toolbars. And then status bar, I can uncheck show status pane and hit OK. And so now we just have Georgia in here. Now, we still have one little piece of the UI remaining, and that's this title bar. Uh, if this doesn't bother you, um, that's great. You can leave that, everything's fine. Uh, but if you want, you could actually disable that with UI hacks. So uh, before I talk further, I just want to give you a, a brief word of caution with UI hacks. Uh, this component is kind of old, it's a little, it can be a little buggy. It doesn't play well with some other components. It can cause FUBAR to crash uh, in certain situations. So I, I kind of always recommend doing this as the last step, just in case uh, something goes wrong. Uh, I've been using it for a long time without any issues. I think a lot of people have too, uh, but just be aware that it could potentially cause problems depending on uh, your individual setup. So, if you have installed UI hacks, you will see this main window entry under display. Uh, I can click on that and then change the frame style from default to no border. I hit OK. And now you'll see that my title bar is gone. Um, and I have uh, min, max, and close buttons uh, enabled now in the theme itself so that you still have some control. Now you can't drag and drop, or sorry, you can't drag the window around because there's no title bar. And there's some ways to like re-enable that uh, in UI hacks. But if you're like me and you run, uh, if you run FUBAR and Georgia at full screen all the time, uh, this is really all you need to do and you're, you're good. So thanks uh, for watching guys. I hope this was informative and you uh, don't have any issues with Georgia.